So for example, consider the function fx equals x squared. This is a function defined on R, and on R it has primitives of the following kind. All primitives differ by a constant, so if we find some primitive of x squared, like 1 third x to the power of 3, then we may add a constant, arbitrary constant c. And we get a whole class of primitives. 1 per constant c. Well, this is what we define by the indefinite integral, or the primitive, of f. It's the integral of f x dx, which stands for the family of all primitives for f on i. So it's not one function, but if you see a sign like this, notation like this, then we indicate by this notation the class of all primitives for f on the interval. So the class of all primitives for x squared equals one third x to the power 3 plus c. Well, another example which is less obvious, so look at fx equals 1 over x squared then f is defined on minus infinity 0 and 0 infinity. Yeah, and not in zero. Then the most general formulation of a primitive is the following. We, if we take an interval on the left hand side of zero, then we may pick a different integration constant, like this c is called, than on the right hand side. So if we look at the class of primitives of the function fx, then we may write minus 1 over x, which is a primitive of 1 over x squared, and we add a constant c1 for all x smaller than 0, and we can take a different constant, c2, on the right-hand side. So we get, as a primitive, minus 1 over x plus c2 for x is larger than 0. Yeah, so now we use the following convention that when we write the integral of fx dx, we still mean, we still write it as minus 1 over x plus c. So under this convention, the c means two different things. So you have to uh, think of, uh, of it yourself that 1 over x minus 1 over x is a primitive of 1 over x squared and uh, the domain is split up so that on the left hand side on the left of 0 on the negative part you can take a different constant than on the right hand side on the right side or the positive side of 0. Consider the following function defined on r except for 0 yeah, it's a real valued function, and fx is given by 1 over x. Yeah, so if you think for a moment of a primitive of 1 over x, then you immediately find the log of x at least when the ln of x, at least when x is positive. Right? So the class of primitives for f is given by is given by capital Fx. Yeah, capital Fx is a primitive of the function Fx. Well, here we split up the domain. So the ln of x plus c1 for x larger than 0. And also the ln of minus x is a primitive of 1 over x for x smaller than 0, but now we can take a different constant, c2. So again we use the convention to write the class of primitives for the function f as the ln of x, or the absolute value of x, plus a generic constant c.